the guy who had the Hunter Biden laptop, the guy, the legally blind guy who owns a computer repair shop, which again, it remains a mystery to me. Um, he's fighting back against the media and against Adam Schiff for the Russian disinformation lie. It's very interesting to me. This is like the only guy to really fight back and finally say like, this was a bunch of nonsense and you swept me up in your nonsense because you were basically telling all the world that I was peddling Russian disinformation and it ruined my life and my business. All right, we're going to get to exactly how it ruined his life and his business in a minute. But first, let's listen to, he sued Adam Schiff, CNN, Politico, and the Daily Beast in Montgomery County, Maryland. And the, here's interview number one. This is his example of how Adam Schiff went on CNN and defamed him. Uh, from, I don't know if I have the date in front of me, but it was right after the laptop came out uh, in October of 2020. Listen. Does it surprise you at all that this information Rudy Giuliani is peddling uh, very well could be connected to some sort of Russian government disinformation campaign? Well, we know that this whole uh, smear on Joe Biden uh, comes from the Kremlin, that the uh, that president, um, that the White House counsel and others were made aware that Giuliani was being used by Russian intelligence uh, and using Russian intelligence in the sense of meeting with an agent of the Kremlin and pushing out this Kremlin false narrative. Uh, but clearly, the origins of this whole uh, smear uh, are from the Kremlin. Have you been formally briefed on what the Russians are up to right now in trying to uh, peddle this kind of information? We haven't gotten much uh, from the intelligence community, but we do know this. Uh, the Russians are once again actively involved in trying to denigrate, denigrate the vice president. Harmeet, uh, the proprietor of that, short, that store, John Paul Mac Isaac, goes by Mac, uh, says this ruined his life. People started throwing eggs at his store, vegetables, dog feces hit his door. He had to shut down his store uh, and that he had to go into exile in Colorado for a year. So does he yeah. have any case? I think he does. And so this is difficult because defamation is a, a practice area of my firm and we handle a lot of it. And it's very hard to make out a case of defamation in many jurisdictions because of anti-slap law. A lot of members of Congress hide behind the legislative privilege that mm -hmm. allows them to say the most vicious and horrible things about people within the building of the Capitol and they can get away with it. But that's not what happened here. And so Adam Schiff, who is privy to all of the intelligence at issue here, and he's not being candid on that interview. He's not only has he had it, but I would say confidently that he is a good suspect for having leaked it to the press. So he knows exactly what it is. And he very mm. confidently stated without cavil or exception that this definitely was a smear, meaning false, against the president's family. And it was Russian propaganda and that he knows it and that Rudy Giuliani was peddling it. So I think all of those things are false and the malice aspect that you have to prove in defamation is proven by the fact that Adam Schiff is in the best position of anybody in Congress to know the actual facts. And today we know that in, even the New York Times and other major publications have acknowledged that this is an actual thing. It is not Russian propaganda. It is Hunter Biden's laptop. And there's also an investigation of the DOJ. So hmm. um, if ever there were a case and if ever there were a person who deserved to be sued for vicious lies, it would be Adam Schiff in this situation. Now, <laughs> well, that's separate from, that, but, that's you know, separate from whether this lawsuit. I've, <laughs> I've known Adam since he was a U.S. attorney and, and he made his career actually on convicting a FBI agent who had turned uh, as was turned by a Russian spy. And, uh, and he never I got it out of his head. Yeah. So the the interesting thing about this and on Harmeet's comment, we and Harmeet and I did not talk about this, but she's absolutely spot on. The legislative privilege is where they, they are going to go in this case. And the interesting thing is, I don't know if I were him and if he had to do redo it, I probably would not have said we haven't gotten much 
from the intelligence community, because mm-hmm. you also, besides having the legislative privilege, could also say, well, I wish I could tell you what I know, but it's top class, it's top secret, it's classified, and invoke a national security privilege on top of it. The problem with all of this, though, is that, as Harmeet also mentioned, it's a, it's a heavy, heavy lift. And it's a heavy lift when it's core political speech and kind of the denigration of the opposite side. So I think he's got, um, a a tough a tough uh, kind of a nut to crack here, but who knows? CNN ended up uh, writing a check to Nicholas Sandman, so mm-hmm. weirder things have happened. Okay, yeah, but listen, as much as I would like to can. see, the, well, let me ask I'm you, not- Harmi, because as much as I would love to see CNN or, and the Daily Beast and you know, all these others have to pay for what happened to this man, to me it seems like they were saying stuff that wasn't true, but I'm not sure they were defaming him. Like they're not I don't hear anybody accusing him of putting Russian disinformation on the laptop. Right. They're just wrong about how it got there or like whether we should believe in the information from the get go. Like maybe the Russians put the disinformation on there before it ever got into the hands of the repairman. No, I think I I disagree with that. So I I think that the whole context here is uh, if you look at the larger context, I'm sure other comments Adam Schiff has made and certainly those publications have made would include that this guy wasn't really a bona fide uh, holder of this piece of equipment. And so I think the implication is that at a minimum, he's a dupe. At worst, he's an active participant in a foreign conspiracy to subvert the United States. Uh, That is per quad, defamation per quad Mm. by implication. And he isn't a public figure. I mean, certainly one could argue, and I'm sure that these publications and Adam Schiff will argue in defense of this if it gets to that, that he is a, uh, at a a minimum, he's a limited purpose public figure for purposes of this. But I think that's a real stretch. And and so absolutely, if I were he, I would definitely feel like I had been defamed by these statements. Mm. And it's interesting too, Harvey. What about the, what about this idea um, with him that the Rudy Giuliani factor, because I remember at the time, one of the reasons that I had kind of my uh, doubts about all of this is of all the people in the world, he's going to give it either to Rudy or Rudy's lawyer. I, I, I think that's something that they're going to bring up. I think that's something that they're going to say is what gave them the or negates the malice element. Mm. Yeah, but that but that's kind of silly, though. It's 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 like saying that somehow ev- evidence that is otherwise sound is tainted by having Rudy Giuliani hold it for five minutes. That's that's really silly. Adam Schiff knows that's not the case, having been a former federal prosecutor like Rudy Giuliani. So you may agree or disagree with some things that Rudy Giuliani has said or not. But today we know. And back then, Adam had no reason to say this was Russian propaganda for sure, because Rudy Giuliani received it. That's, yeah. It doesn't even follow and logically. Are the high fuel costs putting a damper on your summer vacay plans from higher prices at the pump to a jump in airfare? It's getting more expensive to get away for a week. But what if you could soak up those vacay vibes year round in the privacy of your own home? Get a Michael Phelps swim spa by Master Spas. Whether you want to stay close to home this summer or you just want to extend your break, a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas can transform your backyard into an oasis. It's a vacation right there. It combines the benefits of a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. It will reinvent your family time. You're going to love it and your family and friends will too. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small one. Don't panic. They've got you. And since it's heated, you can use it year round in any climate. Michael Phelps swim spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, which is the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save 1000 bucks on a Michael Phelps swim spa or 500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.